Agricultural Modeling into Comparison and Improvement, or AGMIP, works towards redesigning smallholder crop livestock systems in semi-arid southern Africa to address poverty and enhance resilience to climate change. Mr. Sibanda is a sorghum farmer from Wat 6 in Nakai district in Zimbabwe. His story is the same as other farmers in this rural area. Scarce productive land resources, land degradation and forced migration are leading these farmers to make risky life choices. Farmers in Nakai are predicted to cope with higher temperatures across the growing season. Erratic rainfall and serious drought means greater food insecurity and poor incomes for large parts of the population. However, desertification can be tackled. Key tools to achieve this are strengthened community participation and cooperation, leading to a stable, secure and sustainable future. We basically have two objectives. We want to simulate the impact of climate variability and change under climate variability under current conditions and climate change in a future that we are uncertain about. So at, as researchers, we work, um, we, we use simulation modeling. We simulate crops, livestock, socioeconomic conditions today and in the future. And we importantly engage stakeholders in countries like Zimbabwe to define what technologies could be useful for smallholder farmers in semi-arid areas to cope with this with droughts, with climate variability, with dry spells today, but also in the future. Productive land is a timeless tool for creating wealth. Hence, a series of representative agricultural pathways were developed. A range of tools were used to design the packages for improved management under current conditions and adaptation to climate change under uncertain futures with stakeholders. <laughs> Closer engagement of stakeholders in the research process has helped strengthen the links between research, development and policy dialogue for better decision-making processes. Improving yields and land productivity is important to increase the food security and incomes of the poorest of the poor. It is imperative to change the way we manage our land to strengthen our future prospects for agricultural sustainability. So we scat so good, so good food. Here's a same bees of food. We did feed it today and go that. Hey! We are, come on! Come on! <laughs> 